Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this GX31. This is on an FG100 Honda Tiller. This thing just will not start. The primer bulb is cracked on it, so we know it needs to be replaced, and that's where we're going to start is with the carburetor. We've got the wrong air filter. That's one thing already. It's not causing it to not run. That's just not good. We're going to unhook the throttle cable. We got a fuel line and a pulse line to undo. There's our carburetor, and you can see the cracks in the primer bowl. Nothing else looks real good. The good news is, these are dirt cheap. We got ourselves a new carburetor. Don't know how similar it is, but it should be fairly similar. Fits on the bolts. Primer bolt's good. Let's give it a shot. Hey, my Honda Bond's getting a little too old, so. Just not as fresh as she used to be. Now we're going to set our uh, air filter cover housing back on here. Those little bolts, about one, two. A good dug is there will be tight enough. Let's put some fuel in it and see if the silly thing will actually pump fuel. The grommet right down here is leaking fuel where both lines go through it and it seals to the gas tank. It's just not sealing to the gas tank. Wish I was surprised by that, but I'm not. And I'll tell you what, we probably gotta check the oil before we start it up. Now, attempt to start it. There's oil in there. Looks pretty dirty. All right, let's see if she'll fire. See if he'll start. I don't want to say fire when it's leaking fuel. Well, you probably noticed our engine runs, but our tiller isn't going. I suspect that this drive right in here is locked up. Now what we're going to do to confirm that is we're going to pull the engine off this thing, and then if we need to, we'll split this drive down and see what's going on with it. Another ground bolt on my engine here. I'll take the wire off and then we'll start to screw back in here so we don't lose it. it. Looks like we need to drill out a couple of pop rivets to get the fenders off.
These are standard. 7 sixteenths or metric 11. not feeling very good. Let's get rid of our tines. Pull the uh, cotter pin out. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll slide off. Oh, so far so good. These are on a shaft with, it's not completely round. It's got a solid, a flat place on it. And that keeps them engaged. I think we found the one that's stuck on there. Let's give it some PB Blaster. Didn't really think that'd work. It was worth a try. Kind of hoping that would work too. You know, we might be able to get this apart, the bolts are on this side, and leave that on there. I'm a fan of that idea. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, look, our case is coming apart, too. Hot diggity dog. Might not need to do that. Looky there. We have a worm drive. And if this thing is a grease worm, he has starved to death. We got a couple of bushings. No bearings, just a couple of bushings on here. And they drive this gear that used to have teeth on it. It doesn't so much anymore. Right here, that's a, like a brass gear. Eh, trying to get you to focus on it. It's like a brass gear and it doesn't hardly have any teeth at all left on it. Let me grab a flashlight. So I'm going to say that's what caused this thing to pass on. I don't think it's going to be fixable. But I'll check into it and see. But uh, anyway, that's what happened to this thing. And that's what happens to a lot of these. Is uh, people forget that this gearbox requires maintenance. And that's what this hole and this hole those screws are in are about. Well guys, I went online and I did find the transmission for it. It was $104. However, Honda doesn't seem to sell the transmission parts themselves. You have to buy the whole transmission. Since I don't want to spend $100 on this tiller, I'm going to save the engine and the rest of it's going to go bye-bye. I can buy another tiller that size for under $100. Seems to be the thing that happens to all of them, so there probably isn't a transmission out there to be had used. I checked through eBay real quick and a couple of other places and there aren't any. So, with that said, that transmission is a goner and the trans the uh, engine itself I'll just hang on to it and we'll do something with it. Thanks for watching.